I don't understand how people overcome poverty in America. I really don't, you know? I've been working since I was 16 years old. I paid, helped pay my parents' mortgage when I was still in high school. <laughs> I'm 32 years old now. I don't even have a mortgage. I don't have kids. I don't have anything to show for all this time that I've paid into this system. I, I, I went to college. I have a bachelor's degree. My parents never graduated college. My parents didn't even graduate high school. I'm working on my second bachelor's degree, hoping that this one sticks. You know, like I was paying for nursing school, half loan, half out of pocket, and COVID it. And now I'm looking at my last quarter of nursing school and I'm realizing I'm not gonna be able to graduate. I'm literally out of money. And not because I failed classes or I did something wrong, I did everything right. It's just because I'm poor. I was born poor, I'm still poor. They want me to die poor. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I'll tell you how we do it. You know what, I came across that TikTok video and it moved me, it really did. Because you can tell by the girl's face that she's really busted her ass and supposedly done all the right things. And she's in poverty. She thinks she's gonna die in poverty. I'm gonna tell you right now, she's not. Because I'm gonna let her know what the hell's going on as far as all this bullshit's concerned about us being lied to pretty much from birth. And I'm gonna be exposing some shit right now. You see, when you enter this world, in America, you're told all you gotta do is pay attention in school, get into a good college, and then you get to have a good job, and you then you'll have a good life. All you gotta do is just follow the rules, do you know, don't get into trouble, and you'll be fine. That's not true. That is bullshit. I lived by that mantra. That's why this why it pisses me off so much because I lived by that fucking mantra from you know, early days of my life. And it was like, I was always living paycheck to paycheck, never had any damn money, didn't know what the hell was going on. I saw everybody else did. And I'm like, okay, well, what am I doing wrong? The problem is, is I listen to them. What I'm trying to communicate to a lot of people is that doing things the way you're supposed to do it, it doesn't work out that great all the time now, does it? And the thing I can't stand is the fact that people who go outside or around the rules, not break them, but go around them, we get looked upon like we're a bunch of asshole criminals and well, we're not supposed to be doing what we're supposed to do. Well, it's like, here's the thing. If I have to choose between doing what I'm supposed to be doing, being poor and then doing going around the rules and having nice shit, yeah, I'm going with this one every single time. So one of the things I'm going to say is that I hope this girl sees this video doubtful, but if she does, I'm going to give her some advice right now. First thing I would do if I was her is I would get my credit on point. I would start building my credit or if it's messed up, get it clean. Your credit score is the number one tool you can use to get you out of poverty. It's, it's that and, and a skill, a job skill. Th those are the two tools. With those two things, you can get out of poverty, but you need them both. So the first thing I do is get my credit going. I get some credit cards and I'd start selling authorized use of trade lines as a car holder. That'd be the first thing I did because that's a way to get income going monthly. It will just roll it over every month. The, the next thing I would do is I would learn how to fix credit if I was her and I would start, start trying to sell credit repair. That is what I would do. Now, why are you asking me that? Because that is one of the number one things that you can do. If you learn how to fix someone's credit, that is a service that is an incredible demand. And it's, it's something you could do from your own home. You don't need all this fancy equipment. You don't need all this special, you know, expensive startup costs. It's just, you, all you gotta do is know how to do it, start marketing your skills, and then start collecting money. It's pretty much as easy as that. Now, is it gonna be like super easy? Like, uh, you know, the next day you're gonna make money? No, but it's definitely something that could be done. That is the fastest route in order to start making money within a few months, as long as you know what you're doing. That is what, that, that is the advice I would give her. And I would also say, stop listening to all these people that are telling you, you know, play by the rules and you know, do this and that. Teachers teach, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now about teachers. Teachers are notorious for being bad with money, not having money. I mean, not all teachers, obviously there's some anomalies, but high school teachers, 
college teachers, college professors, they're known for just not having a clue of how the real world works. And I will attest to that. I went to college and there was a lot of shit that I had to go through and learn and stuff that I didn't get. It was a waste of money. Now, I mean, not everything, but still, it was. I could tell that making money was not front of mind of all these professors. It was, oh, just keep, keep going with your college degree. Like that, it's like, okay, what is this? Like, I can't be a career student. Eventually, I need to turn this shit into money, these skills into money. That's the whole point, because I want to have a nice life. A wise person once told me, it's not about what you want to do in life. It's about what you want to have. That is what, that, that is the, the mindset that needs to be taken. So I hope this person sees this video. And if you'd like to reach out to me, I'd be more than happy to go more in depth with things like how credit profiles are built, how to get your information into public records so you can get instant approvals for credit, so you can get approved for things like credit cards, houses, cars, all that good stuff. And I know a lot of people will probably think, oh, well, if she doesn't have any money, how is she gonna make pay the bills? I just told you, if she were to go and get the cards, the credit cards, she could make them, have them make her money. That's, that's the way you got to think. You got to think around the, uh, the right way of doing things. But I hope that this video finds that young lady. She's 32. Don't give up. And if you feel so inclined, please like and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Crusader out.